Hey everyone, Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to some more of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Last episode, we made it here to Cinnabar Island, and uh, we also got through the Seafoam Islands. Boy, what fun that was! And in this episode, we're going to enter the Pokemon Lab and uh, take care of some stuff. Now, if you remember way, way, way back when, uh, I believe it was back on Mount Moon, we got a fossil. And uh, we can finally do something with that fossil. And we can also do something with that old amber, which we got after we learned HMO1 cut. So if we talk to this guy, uh, he will say that he's working on a project which revives uh, fo uh, Pokemon from fossils. And since we have the Helix fossil, uh, we're going to get the Pokemon Ammonite. Now if you have the Dome fossil, um, you can get the Pokemon Kabuto. Uh, Ammonite is a bit more, um, from what I've seen, a special attacker, um, but it's also a pretty decent defender as well. Uh, Kabuto, on the other hand, is more of a def uh, is more of a defensive attacker rather than uh, the special attacker that uh, Ammonite is. Uh, they're both pretty good, but I recommend uh, Kabuto just a bit more. And if we talk to him, no, I didn't want to give it a nickname. Now, if we talk to him one more time, come on, we can give him the old amber. Uh, which contains the uh, fossil of an Aerodactyl. Now, Aerodactyl is a very good attacker, and it's extremely fast. Probably the uh, fastest uh, Pokemon in this generation, uh, after Electrode, which is another po Pokemon we'll get into in a bit here. Uh, Aerodactyl, I could recommend it on any team if you're not if your team's not complete by this point. Uh, and I am going to give it a nickname, even though it's not on the team, but that's only because, well, crap, it's female. <laughs> well, somebody wanted me to uh, name the Aerodactyl after them, but, uh, yeah, I can't do that now, so I'll just call it that, and you can uh, take them that way you will. Anyway, if you go down here, um, if there's a lot of trades you can do in this place. None of them, I think, are worth it, because this guy's looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. And uh, he will give you a seal. Bad trade, po Ponyta, uh, you don't get until a little bit longer, and when you do have it, I would recommend using it. Seal, you could have gotten in Seafoam Island, so it's really not that good of a trade. Uh, if you pass up that room and go into this room, you can talk to this girl, and uh, she'll be talking about the Pokemon Venonat, and uh, if you have a Venonat, you can get a, a Tangela from her. Not that good of a trade. Because Tangela you can find just to the north of Cinnabar and a patch of grass just under Pallet Town. Uh, and they're very common there, so I would pass up. Now, this guy, if you happen to have a Raichu, which we do, um, he will give you the Pokemon Electrode. Again, not that good of a trade. I find um, Raichu to be a bit more superior to Electrode. Electrode, um, there's a funny story about this guy. Um, you can actually get a legitimate level 3 Electrode, even though Electrode doesn't evolve until... Oh, what level? I don't remember. But, anyway, that's beside the point. Because you can find level 3 Pikachus in Viridian Forest, and, uh, you can evolve them with Thunderstones right away, and then you can trade it to that guy for a legitimate, uh, level 3 Electrode. Also, that guy, back in the games of Pokemon Red and Blue, uh, he used to say, uh, after you came back, after a while, he would say that your Raichu went and evolved. Now that statement is completely false considering there's no other evolution to the uh, Pikachu family besides Pichu, which was introduced in Generation 2. However, this sparked a lot of debate because around this time, Generation 2 screenshots and stuff were starting to get leaked, along with information about the Pokemon Meryl, which was on the anime, and there was a fiery Raichu Pokemon that was never used. So this did spark debate about that fiery Raichu Pokemon, which, again, like I said, was never used. And Meryl, which many people thought at that point was called Pika Blue, but that turned out not to be the case. Now, if you come up to the gym here, you'll see that the door is locked, which leads us to this. So, oh, wait now. Which leads us to this. Pokemon Mansion. I hate this place with the burning passion inside of my soul. Mostly because I tried to do this once before and I didn't have any max repels because I'm basically pretty broke. Wait, what am I trying to find? Max repels. Derp. And uh, the Pokemon were just getting way too annoying. But anyway, there are four uh, new Pokemon that you can find here in this place. 
first of which being the Pokemon Grimer. Now, Grimer, if you're playing Leaf Green, will be a lot more common. Uh, Grimer is a pretty uh, special defensive poison type with some decent moves, uh, but when it fully evolves into Muck, which is the next Pokemon you can find here, it's pretty good. Uh, I'd recommend giving it a shot. Uh, but there's also another Pokemon that you could get here uh, that I'd recommend a bit more. Uh, if you're playing Fire Red, this Pokemon will be a lot more common, but you can still find it in uh, Leaf Green. Uh, and that Pokemon would be Coughing. Now, Coughing here is a very, very physical defensive uh, Pokemon. And it learns some uh, nice attacks like Self-Destruct, which can be used in, in a last resort situation. Um, and uh, other moves like Toxic Sledge Bomb, even though Muck learns those as well. Uh, overall, I find uh, Coughing to be pretty good, and its evolution, uh, Wheezing, which can only be found in a uh, Fire Red, is also very, very good. Okay, that does it for uh, the new Pokemon that you can find here. Now, you're probably wondering, what exactly are we doing in this place, and why am I breezing through it? Well, because I screwed up off-screen, and I already know what to do. <sighs> And with that being said, we can easily just make it through this place. Now I'll be coming back for all of these guys off screen, because these guys give off so much money. It's not even funny. Haha, <laughs> I made a pun. Oh, TM14 Blizzard, we could use that. Uh, I might give that to somebody a little bit later. Now, what we're doing here is we're actually trying to find the key to the Cinnabar Island Gym. And if we come over here, you found the secret key! And if you come down here, you found TM22 Solar Beam, a nice attack for your uh, grass types as long as they have sunny day. Now with that said, we're actually done with Pokemon Mansion already. Wow, that's gonna be the fastest I've ever blown through that place. Uh, like I said, I'll be coming back for all the trainers off screen because if you have an amulet coin uh, and you fight these trainers, you can really rake in the dough. Which is something we're gonna need for uh, something coming up. Now that we're done with that, what I'm going to do now is that we're going to go get our flying Pokemon slave, and, uh, gear off. We're gonna go, uh, take care of something. Really quick here, uh, here's what all three of the fossil Pokemon look like, since I didn't show you what they look like with our little Pokedex application. Wow! They're- oh, wait, no, I was gonna say they're all female, what the crap? Okay, with that, let's, um, actually continue on. I just wanted to show you that real quick because I felt kind of bad about not showing you what they looked like. Unlike uh, with the Pokemon Mansion Pokemon, I had no choice but to show you. So, anyway, take off flying type Pokemon. Flying type Pokemon, there he is. And we're going to fly all the way. No, not Lavender Town! Crap! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, hey, what do you know? Spear was wrong. He didn't take us to Lavender Town. He clearly took us to Route 10 where we wanted to go in the first place and totally didn't edit that in. <laughs> anyway. Okay, now that we're here at Route 10, and you have Surf now, there's something that we can take care of. Please don't run into any wild Pokemon, because I want to save my repels. Thank you. There is a scientist there, but I do not want to fight him. Actually, you know what? We have time for a fight. What am I talking about? Stormy, get out there. You got the amulet coin. You got this, buddy. Now, while we're fighting this guy, there's something I want to talk about. Um, and that is, you saw that I gave Aerodactyl the nickname, uh, at request of a friend. Obviously, from the name, you can probably figure out who it was. But that's beside the point. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at here is that if you guys want me to, uh, nickname a Pokemon that I've already caught in this LP, um, as long as it's not Aerodactyl, Victory Bell, Vulpix, Ponyta, or Rapidash, then, by all means, send me a suggestion. And as long as it's not anybody on the team, too. So. Uh, yeah, so, uh, feel free to send in your suggestions for, uh, Pokemon names. Uh, I think it would make it a little bit more special for you guys if you saw some of your names on, uh, some of the Pokemon that we've caught in this LP. And, I mean, you have almost 150 to choose from, so. Okay, that was pretty easy. And is we gonna get lots of monies? 
Yes, we's gonna get lots of money. Ah, don't go to that button. Or that button, that menu. Anyway, if you look here, this is the Pokemon Power Plant. Now, there's actually a few new Pokemon that you can find here in the Power Plant. Uh, first of which being Magnemite, an electric steel type Pokemon, which in Generation 1 was only electric because steel didn't exist yet. Uh, Magnemite is actually a pretty decent Pokemon with some nice defenses because obviously it's part steel. And, uh, honestly, I could recommend this one for uh, any team, really. Uh, I could also recommend its evolved form Magneton, which is very rare, but you can still find it here. Uh, so yeah, Magneton and Magnemite I can recommend. The next Pokemon you can find here in Fire Red only is the Pokemon Electabuzz. Electabuzz is a pretty physical electric type. Uh, honestly, uh, it's one of my more favorite electric types, actually. But in this generation, I can't really recommend it. And uh, as you can notice, we touched that Pokeball and we got into a wild encounter. Like went into a wild encounter here. Well, reason for that is because some of these Pokeballs are actually electrodes in disguise, which leads us to our uh, next Pokemon you can find here, Electrode. Electrode here is um a per is the fastest uh, Pokemon of this generation, and for the longest time, its speed couldn't be beat. Uh, really, I could recommend Electrode for a team, just because it is a decent Pokemon. It knows up uh, moves like self-destruct, though, so if you're going to catch it like I am, be careful. Now, I'm actually going to see if I can catch this thing, just to avoid having issues later. Okay, sweet, we got it! Sorry, I just had to cut that away. It was a little bit lengthy, but I only used one Pokeball, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, so we finally got the Voltorb family all done with. And yeah, that basically does it for uh, the Pokemon that you can find here. Uh, one thing I should mention is that Magneton you can find a bit easier in Leaf Green over Fire Red. So that's something to keep in mind for you Magneton lovers. One of these is a fake encounter. And I picked the wrong one, dang it! No! Okay, that was annoying. Anyway, come up here and you can get a Thunderstone, which can be used to evolve uh, Eevee into Jolteon and Pikachu into Rachu. Alright, so now we're almost at the prize of this place, because there's something here we want. And that something should be right there. Now, as always, be sure to save your game, because this is another legendary bird.